<clears throat> hey everyone, how y'all doing? So you're probably wondering what the heck is going on. Well, I got a new toy. I got this little electric scooter. And I thought I'd ride the scooter to the post office because I have some stuff to mail out. I have two traveling knives and a bunch of stickers going out. And I don't want to wait till wife gets home with the truck and, and rush around and doing it. But yeah, I got a new toy. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll stop <clears throat> over here in the park someplace and kind of show it to you real quick. And then we'll continue to the post office. It's about a three mile one way. So there'll be a six mile round trip. And if you're lucky, I'll let you, I'll show you what I look like because I am bundled up. And I have my orange hunting vest on and helm, my bicycle helmet, a ski mask. I got lights on the front and back, blinky light on the back, plus on the back of my helmet. But yeah, find a good spot to stop and we'll check this thing out real quick. So I've only had this scooter for a day. I got it yesterday. Or when did I get it? Monday. I got it Monday. Today is Tuesday. So I rode around quite a bit yesterday after I charged the battery. And then I took it for a night, night ride last night. But yeah, boy, today it's cold. It is cold out. And yeah, I guess come over here to the pavilion. So I can get across the grass. Ugh. Okay, so does have a kickstand. Can't get my foot on it. Here we go. Okay, here's the scooter. It is a Gyroar, G-R-Y-R-O-O-R, -O -O Urban Max, right here on the deck. It's a little sit-down scooter. It has a 450-watt hub motor, a 36-amp battery, 7.5 amp hour battery 12 inch wheels pneumatic tires it has mechanical disc brakes they're 140 millimeter disc now i it came with a basket i added the bungee strap comes with this light which is the tail light brake light and i added the little blinky light because you can see below the box can't see it added the bag added the light and the mirror came with a bell has a digital display which hopefully you can see it and you'll be able to see the speed um, very comfortable very very fun to ride um, it's not fast it's 15 miles an hour and it's, it's a dog on the start. Takes off really slow. But yeah, like I said, I have the two traveling knives going out and I have a bunch of stickers going out, channel stickers. Oh, and I added these little reflective straps. So I think it's set up pretty good. Um, I do have a bar extension coming because I can get some of the stuff off the handlebars. But yeah, I'll show you what, what the heck I look like because it's funny looking. 
Oh, well, that's really no good way of setting this camera up right now, but yeah, I have ski pants on. They're 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 lined. I have my Carhartt hoodie. I got my hunt vest on. Got my helmet. I got a mask. And on the back, I do have a blinky light. So hopefully you got an idea. I got these gloves that got orange on them. So yeah, I guess get back on a on a travel here. Yeah, I, I'm pretty brightly dressed with this orange vest. I have a reflective vest for nighttime riding, which when I went out last night, I forgot to put it on. But yeah, I don't know. I just kind of feel weird riding this. Now, I ride, I used to ride my bike, my bicycles all around the city. And I don't know, this thing is so slow on a start and I'm down lower than I am on the bike. On the bike I sit up higher and you know a good couple of pumps and you can, you can get out of the way of things. This thing is pretty slow, I mean I'm doing 12, 13. Uh, 13 and a half, 14, barely, but yeah, pretty slow. So I am going to ride a combination of the road and sidewalks, try to get to the post office. Now watch, I stop, I gas it, and it just chugs. Uh, the pickup speed is awful slow. Now, it's rated for 265 pounds. I am about 250, so I'm pushing the max weight limit. And then you add in all my clothes. Yeah, I'm pushing the max weight limit on this. But, see if I can get over here. Going, going this way. Ugh. I will be protected from the wind a little bit. Because when I left the house, it was 37 degrees. So it's not warm. I'm just glad the wind ain't blowing too hard. Oh man, there's a sports bar right here on the other side of the trees. It smells good. They have great food. It has wood house. Woodhouse Stadium Bar and Grill, I think it's called now. It's always been called the Woodhouse, but it's had different variations of the name. So I have no clue how the camera angle is, how the, the sound is. We'll figure it out eventually. There's a skating rink. Right here to the right of me is our public library. But yeah, I got the two traveling nights. I got the Grand Way going to Jerry of Big J's Knives and the Victorinex Hunter XT going to Rich and AOK -OK product reviews. A-side knives, so I gotta get them out. 
I plan on take, you know, getting those out yesterday. I had the labels already pre prepaid and printed. But I didn't get a chance yesterday. And I kind of wanted to ride this. And it didn't come in time. Now, I'm going to go right up the street. People don't go too fast down the street. Man. I can smell Anilio's pizza. <clears throat> Best pizza in Corning. Mom wagon. Like I said, this thing's very slow off the start. <clears throat> Give the dog either right away. Crystal City Christmas. <laughs> this is Center Way Square. Really pretty at night, so I'll bring you guys over some night and check it out. Not very many people here right now. There's a, the Santa's house right there. I got lights hanging up. It's pretty cool looking at night. I drove past here one night. But yeah, I'll come back some night when it's dark and everything's lit up and show you guys it's, I don't know, in some magazine, the square was named Best Small Town Square. See the river. Okay. Got this maze right here. I've tried to ride it on my bike. I almost I can almost do it while cutting corners. You keep the front wheel in it. Don't worry about the back wheel.
I'm gonna be snuffling this entire video. But that over there is the Corning Museum of Glass. It's pretty cool. If you ever come come around Corning, New York passing by, stop in and check that out. And I'm doing about 15.4. And yeah, I'm going to blow the stupid stop sign because this thing so slow off the of start. So yeah, like I said, I got those two knives going out. I got stickers going out. I got like nine, eight or nine stickers going out. Um, different channels like Oh, Knife Delights, I'm sending him one because he sent me one. The Singing Toad asked to do a sticker swap. And yeah, I forgot where I was going. Um, Tim at Tim's School of Fish, sending him one. And Brand, or, um, Terry's Knife and Man Stuff. I'm sending him one. I got one of his from one of the traveling knives, but he's getting one. Bunch of people, a couple, couple of subscribers, long time subscribers that have supported the channel for years. One, I haven't, I haven't got his address yet, but I'll send him one whenever he sees my message. Um, and I'm gonna go up here and the sidewalk. Let's go slow. I'm gonna cross at the second crosswalk. Figure a safer cross here. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go up the road here. Post office just up, up a ways. Yeah, I thought I'd do a scooter electric scooter vlog today taking a trip to the post office and mail out a couple of knives and stickers so, something different show my new toy and I'm doing 15.4 slowing down it is uphill a little bit not, not hardly anything But yeah, I thought <clears throat> I might do these once in a while. Do an electric scooter vlog and try to talk about, you know, knives or EDC. I'll, I'll find some topic and discuss it while I'm traveling. Um, stop and show my, my EDC, what I'm carrying at the moment. I might not do it in this video because I'm cold. But yeah, this is cruising at 14.7 miles an hour. Oh, just jumped up to 15. Leveling out a little bit. And yeah, right here's the post office. There we go. Park over here. Bike rack. Try to lock this thing up. Put my camera away. I'm not filming in, inside. But yeah, I'll see you when I get back on the road.
Okay, I got, I got the knives out. I got stickers out. Um, I know JB at Big Red EDC, he's finally getting one of my stickers. I've got so many of his. Um, yeah, I can't even remember them all. But when I got there, I turned, I powered off the scooter and I didn't check to see how far it was because it has a trip meter and it resets when you, you know, turn it off and turn it back on and it resets to zero. So maybe I'll remember when I get home and I'll let you guys know how, how far it was. I'm basically going to go the same way home as I did here. Um, but yeah, it's down. I'm down two bars already. Right, there's a power meter here. It's got five, five bars. I am down two already. And that was only like three miles. So I don't know what the max mileage is on this. They say 20. Sure, sure it's not gonna be 20 with me on it. And hopefully I I make it home. <laughs> See how slow it starts? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Can I make this? I'm turning. Yeah. Now, post office wasn't too far from my son's house, but the kid, his kid and his wife are sick. He's working, I think. So I'm not going there, plus they live on a hill. I don't feel like walking this up at. And my daughter works right back there, but I'll stop and see her next time I'm out venturing. I like having that mirror. I knew that car was getting ready to pass me. I never had a mirror on any of my bicycles, my bikes. Obviously, when I had motorcycles, they had mirrors. But yeah, that's pretty handy. I need a, I'm seeing half of it's me. So I need to adjust it a little bit. But that's working out pretty good. The mirror was $6 on Amazon. Not too bad, it works. Um, Yeah, see how much battery it uses going up this, this hill. It's pulling me up. This is more of a hill than you think it is, especially if you're riding a bicycle. Seems, probably seems steeper than it is. But I was worried about this thing making it up over this bridge and it's slowing down. Nine, eight, eight miles an hour. Now I'm picking up speed. But it's hauling my butt up over it. Like I said, I'm at the top end of the weight limit on this. Yeah, this is pretty fun. I'll definitely be using it when it, you know, gets warm out in the summer, spring.
like I said, I'll come over one of these nights. It's supposed to be nice on the weekend. At night. So you can see this all lit up and everything. It's, it is nice. Um, I think. I'm not going to go up Market Street. I'm going to go this way and maybe I'll just go straight on a, there's a bike path. Or a share roll. I think it, I can't remember. It's been a while. I'm gonna hit the sidewalk. Whoa! Oh! I was wasn't that expecting that to be so high. This thing's so slow, I don't feel bad for riding on the sidewalk. Dude's got a remote control car up here. Now this thing I didn't mention when I was showing it does have three three modes, three speed modes. One, two, and three. One is like zero to nine miles an hour, taps out at nine. Mode two taps out about 12. And mode three taps out at max 15, 15 and a half. So I guess, I don't know why you want that, but I guess you were letting a youngster ride it and you don't want them going 15 miles an hour. You can you can limit them. And yeah, I just I just been keeping it in mode three. Fifteen's that awful fast, and it's got this half throttle right here, so. You can go slow if you want. This is where I don't like, I don't like this. I could get across, across here pretty fast on my bike. This thing. You can almost walk across faster than than this gets you across, but as long as you know it and watch the traffic, should be okay. Like I said, I got orange on, I got lights, blinking lights going. I should be very visible. I never worry about that really on, on my bike, but I this for some reason. I want to be as visible as possible. Go back through here. 
This park here is Denison Park. Pretty nice park. And you've got tennis courts, basketball courts, a pool, um, a couple of pav yeah, pavilions. It's big on disc golf, frisbee golf. They went through like two summers ago and put all new bowls or baskets up. Got the little pond. Horseshoe pits right here. When I was working, whether I rode my bike or walked to work and home, I'd walk through here every day, one way or the other. There's a mural. Got Little League fields up there. The pavilion gazebo over there. Got a pretty cool little playground right over there. For kids, there's another pavilion. Barbecue spots here all over. Pretty nice park, not too far from home. In fact, we can walk over Now, see if it takes me up this hill. Now I am down. I am down two bars. I'll be down three by the time I get home. I don't know if my trip meter is working or not. And it's still doing 14. Oh, it's dropping fast. 10. Back up to 11. 12. 13. It, it, it pulls me up that hill. 15. Still going uphill. Oh, dropping a little bit. But yeah. I took this corner a little too fast last night. There we go. But yeah, getting pretty close to home. Guess that probably do it for this video. Something different, new toy of mine. May do this a few more times, you know, but I'll make it somehow EDC or knife related. And I'll definitely take you guys over at nighttime to see all the lights, maybe cruise around and check out Christmas lights some night. But, pretty fun. Yeah, I don't know what my... Let me stop a minute. It says 10. 10 mile. There we go. So I got 10 miles on this thing. And right now I am at 3.2 miles, so 6.4, two bars. I guess it's not too bad. But cut down through here. And yeah, I guess That'll do it. Let me know if you think these things are a good idea to do or I don't want to lose subscribers doing something different, but it's fun to do something different once in a while. And yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. 
Do it you as well like, comment, subscribe if you have it. And until the next video. Ugh. Bye.